Um, we were heading north on Parliament Street and uh, going into the corner that leads uh, onto the Danforth and then across the uh, Bloor Street Viaduct. And uh, we were either clipped or uh, we clipped something. It was uh, nobody was sure. Um, we ended up um, throwing from the motorcycle and um, under the wheels of an SUV. I didn't want to deal with any lawyers, anything. I was very resistant to all of it. And, uh, friends and family were pushing me and telling me, you know, because all the paperwork from the insurance company, you know, it was uh, a labyrinth and uh, we didn't understand it and they were turning us down for simple things left, right and center and it was obvious that I needed some help and a, and a friend told me to give these guys a shout and, uh, and I did and um, in retrospect, uh, uh, I'm incredibly glad that I did because things would not, I wouldn't be sitting here looking like this um, without their help. Uh, initially they, they helped me uh, get through the first amount of the paperwork and uh, made me realize um, uh, what kind of uh, services were available to me. Um, they, um, you know, uh, were responsible for, for so much from uh, occupational therapist, a physiotherapist, to having my eyes checked and um, I see people on the streets now and I wouldn't have realized this before the accident but I realize it now that I look at them and before I might have thought oh he's messed up because of this or that or some marginalization but now I, I recognize things like oh that person has been in an accident hasn't had the proper physiotherapy or hasn't had the proper care and uh, you know, and now they're they're dealt. You know, they they're basically stuck with whatever infirmity it is for life. You know, and uh, so I was very fortunate that uh, that I was able to connect with. I think Nineteen specifically because I'd heard about people's experience with other lawyers, and and uh, it didn't match what uh, my experience with with uh, the Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen always kept me informed and. Um, uh, because that was one of one of my issues was I wanted to be in the loop. I didn't want to be in the dark about anything that was happening. They really um, took care to treat me uh, with respect and dignity, and um, I definitely would consider the the people uh, that helped me at Ninestein that I dealt with at Ninestein uh, to be friends. And I felt that I was I was, you know, that they were in my corner. That that we were part of a, a team together. You know, I felt comfortable 